Hey everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through the Recall the Alpha Slicell quest, also known as Legend of the Tusker Paw. This was one of the uh, requested quests uh, that I was asked to do a walkthrough for recently. Uh, all of the Recall quests actually, but this is the one that I'm starting with. So this is, yeah, to get Recall Alpha Slicell, which takes you to Ulatanga's Refuge, the only city um, on Alpha Slicell, I believe the only city. I probably should have thought about that before I said it, but yeah, the only city on Alpha Slicell. So the first thing you're going to want to do to uh, complete this quest is speak with Cleo. So she is the quest flag, and the fastest way that I know to get there is to go through the facility hub uh, make your way to the east wing, which is where all the Tusker locations are. And then you're going to want to go into the Tusker barracks. So this is actually the Tusker guard dungeon, but we're, we're obviously we're not going to go in there. We're going to run from here. As you can see, it's about four clicks, five clicks to get to Cleo. Alpha Slicell is a great place for new players. There's a lot of, you know, good places to hunt. You can get to a lot of them through Facility Hub. So the reason that I really like this recall is as a higher level player, my Lifestone and Portal Ties are not inconvenient places to get to Town Network. But Recall Alpha Slicell is super close to Town Network when, you, you know, you could see when I recalled before. Uh, it's kind of right next to the portal. So I really enjoy having that recall available to me. Cleo lives in this little hut here. Um, the area clearly is not safe. There are a ton of Tuskers around and you just come in, you speak with her. She will, if it's the first time you're doing the quest, she's gonna direct you to the next dungeon, which is behind the waterfall. Now, since I've already done this before, she's basically going to tell me, like, you know, your magic or whatever. You Like, I'm already flagged for the quest. Um, so from here, once you talk to her, you can just start the run to behind the waterfall while I try to kill all these mobs so I can get out the door. <laughs> all right, so we are at the waterfall. It's a pretty cool place. Uh, there's not much else here, though. But yeah, I like to kind of take in the sights of Asheron's Call. So once you're ready, you can hop into the portal, which is literally behind the waterfall. If you don't talk to Cleo, which I have made this mistake before, you won't be able to get into this portal. This is going to take you to the first dungeon, literally behind the waterfall. And I'm just going to run through. If you're a lower level doing this quest, you may want to fight your way. There are traps throughout this dungeon that cast um, Tusker's Gift on you and try to dispel you. I think they only dispel up to level 6 spells. So if you're buffed with level 7s or level 8s like I am, uh, you don't have anything to worry about. But just something to keep in mind. This quest is targeted to level 80 and above, so you can do this pretty early on to get this recall, which is really nice. It's a, it's a great thing to have so early. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way, but I think I am. This is a small dungeon, but I always seem to get lost in here for whatever reason. All right, so yeah, nothing you need to do in this dungeon. You're just going to run through until you get to Tusker Warrior's Lair, and then you're going to pop into that dungeon. All right, so now we are in the Tusker Warrior's Lair. Uh, this dungeon is filled with, like, psychophants. I mean, they're all kind of filled with the same thing, which is just big Tuskers. Tusker Psychophants. Um, yeah, this dungeon is pretty big, but I think there's really only one way you can go. So hopefully I don't screw it up. But yeah, you're basically going to make your way to this huge ramp. You're going to run down straight. There's these side corridors, but those can be ignored. You're going to run straight down to the bottom. Uh, basically trying to go east the whole way, and then you'll come to another large room and there will be a Tusker food storage portal at the back. All right, so I was right the first time. So you're gonna go straight, you're gonna go right and at the split, and then you're gonna go right at the first 
turn, you're gonna make your immediate right and then take this kind of middle of the three passages here. When you start seeing Tuskers, you kind of know you're in the right place. You need to go, I don't know, around, I guess, and then back all the way to the end and then kind of back around and down. Then you'll go through, you'll get to another big um, kind of ramped room. These are kind of common throughout this. And you'll find a portal for Legend of the Tusker King. This is the last like dungeon that you have to go through. There are some of these cool, I don't know if you call them, yeah, paintings, Tusker paintings in here but you can't like interact with them or pick them up or anything. I feel like that would be a cool housing item. All right, yeah, so you're gonna run down through these rooms. There's only kind of one path you can take. Uh, at this point, you're gonna run around, all the way around, and you'll have another big down room with a hole in the floor that you're gonna hit. And then there's a couple of paths, but they're all short dead ends. And then you'll go to Throne of the Tusker King. All right, in here, you are confronted with Ulatanga, the Tusker King, pretty cool uh, NPC. When you talk to him, he's gonna basically immediately portal you into like a waiting room. So you wanna make sure that you and your group are ready for the fight before you talk to him. Then when you're ready, you're gonna walk up to Ulatanga the Tusker King, just talk to him. Sends you right into Trial of the Tusker Hero. This is kind of the waiting room, like I was saying. So, you know, you can wait here for your party and then you're just gonna wanna run into Arena of the Tusker Hero all at once. Here, you're gonna fight the boss of the quest, Moen Udon, Uduin, not sure. Pretty cool. Big Tusker with uh, some armor on. You obviously wanna be using fire if you're, uh, you know, able to use an element like I'm not. You can actually tell from the regen of this monster is insane, so I tried to do this on another character and it was really hard to beat the regen. All right, so when you kill Moen, there's going to be a gateway. You have to actually use the gateway. You can't just walk through it. You'll come back to another kind of waiting room and then you're going to go through Throne of the Tusker King portal. And then you're going to want to come and talk to... Ulatanga again. If you killed Moen and you're in a party, you're going to get a three wish fabled Tusker Paw, and everyone else is going to get a one wish fabled Tusker Paw. You'll tell because this has three fingers up and the other ones only have one. Uh, but when you're doing it by yourself, you automatically get the three fingered paw. So, what you're going to want to do from there is pop into the Idol of Wishes portal. And from here, you get to make your wishes. So the Statue of Artificer's Wish always gives you the recall if you've never done it before. The other um, statues typically give experience, but some of them do have a chance at a random reward. Or not a random reward, a special reward, I should say. So for instance, if you do Statue of Healer's Wish, there's a chance at getting some really nice uh, healing kit supplies. So I know a lot of people try to do this one. So, yeah, that's all there is to, uh, you know, Alpha Slicell Recall, the uh, Legend of the Tusker Paw. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.